Hi guys, welcome to Football Lions. My name is Richman. In fact, guys, what is Chelsea about to do now? Chelsea is becoming greedy, guys. Chelsea is competing, pushing to beat Manchester United to sign Crystal Palace to Mark Lowell's, guys. Can you believe this? And this is the information. Exclusively, Chelsea growing increasingly confident of securing the Crystal Palace to Michael Ollis. So, guys, these are the informations. In fact, Chelsea is pushing harder and harder and harder to beat Manchester United. You know, Manchester United also want to sign him. And last season, Chelsea targeted him. But Palace refused. And now they put system million release clause on Michael Ollis, guys. So, Chelsea is pushing to activate his system million release clause to sign him. And in fact, I can't imagine seeing Ollis with Cole Palmer. I can't wait to see them playing together, guys. So, now the problem is that personal terms will be the problem. Because some other sources of information saying that Oli is one United. And some also saying that Oli will come to Chelsea. That Oli is Chelsea fan. And for me, I'm not panicking. I'm not panicking also. I have the belief that as far as Chelsea activate that system in our release cross, Oli coming to Chelsea will not be a problem. Yes, because... When you look at Oli's, his age range is equal to our young squad. So every young player would like to play with his, his, his caliber of players or his type of players. That is why Cole Palmer came to Chelsea. And the rest is history. Yes, he knew that when he came, you get game time. And really, he got the game time. So seeing Oli's and seeing this, our young squad, he will fit inside very, very well. So that is why I have the hope that if Chelsea present that system alone to Palace, Olis will accept and come to Chelsea. Yes, guys, as I said, <laughs> I can't wait to see Olis with Cole Palmer, Olis with uh, Nicola Jackson, Olis with uh, Modric, Olis with Meduaku, Olis with Unkunku. I can't wait. This guy is technical brilliant, food web, excellent. Look at the goal he scored against United in their 4-0 win. Look at that place where he put the ball. Charlie, quality. This kind of player just is supposed to be signing 16 million, 17 million. But not Brazilian young players which nobody know uh, what they can even do. Because this player is premierly proven player, Michael Ollis. And he can play in any team in this world. Madrid, Barcelona, Man City. Where? He, can, he has the quality. He has the ability. So guys, Chelsea is pushing to sign Michael Ollis, but United is still in the race. So let's hope, let's hope. At the end, the personal agreement or uh, personal terms will matter. And let's hope if Chelsea submit the system million, Ollis will accept. So that is the information for all these guys. And let me hear from you your opinion, your thought about this Oli transfer. Chelsea and United want him, guys. And let's come to another good news. Lavia and Wesley Fafana back on the grass. But please, guys, before we go there, please just remind you to subscribe and like this video to go for at least 40 likes. And please don't forget to subscribe. And let's come to that information. Romeo Lavia and Wesley Fafana are back on the grass. Happy days. Happy news. In fact, these players, I remember Kaisado could not rest last season because of Lavia being off. But now, Lavia is back. And even Wesley Fafana, it, it, it came to a time that Chaloba, Chaloba was the only one good playing with Thiago Silva. But now, Fafana is also back. Because Badashili, at the end of the season, is like our 34 games or 33 games. He lose form. He was not playing well. They did, I think, against Bailey. He had some ball. would cost, cost Chelsea a goal. So since Fafana is back, if anything happens next season, we have an option. So... We have a good starting 11 and a good bench. And I think who is even injured again? Not just a player injured again. Who? Chilwell is back. James is back. Fofana is back. Yes, Lavia is back. No players injured again. Yes. So, next season, <laughs> we have a good squad. Our squad will be challenging. If you do not play well, the manager will put you down or you go back on the bench. And your colleague will come in because the players are so many. There are so many. So, guys, that is 
Another good news, Lavia and Fofana are back on the grass and they will join Chelsea in preseason. And fortunately, none of these players are going to the Euros. Yes. And let's come to this topic. A cement topic, guys. And this information came out. Let me read it before we come and explain it, guys. Just didn't find an agreement with the salary in a meeting with a semen agent. Let me read it again. Just didn't find an agreement with the salary in a meeting with a semen agent. Just don't want to pay the money a semen wants. Wages. And in fact, there is a saying that to whom much is given, much is expected. There's no way you can compete in modern football without having this kind of players. Mention any team that is competing, winning trophies, and don't have this kind of players in their team, ending that huge wages. Real Madrid, uh, Man City, any team that you know they are competing, uh, uh, Bayern Munich, they are paying almost 300,000 pounds, 250,000. You need to pay huge wages to attract big players, to attract good players, to attract players who will come and give you instant result. Paying 250 or 200 to a seaman, he deserves it. Because what he is coming to do, he can do it better. He can give us the goals. He can win as matches. So this are honest. What, how are they seeing England football? Or, or how are they seeing uh, European football? I don't understand like their mentality. Are they coming to compete or they are coming for dif different purposes? And what, and, and what is the scary part about this is that if because they put a cement deal or because of the wage difference or they don't want to pay that money or cement want, then we are dead. Then it means it started. We can't attract any big player again. Guys, we shouldn't pray or we shouldn't hope it, it is true. If it is true that they put the deal of because of a cement wages, we will sign these young players giving them that 17 million, 18 million, 15 million, and this can't get just anywhere. I'm telling you, if you don't attract big players, uh, those who have the quality, those who can play better, those who can give you results, forget about winning. It will take you years, seasons. And it's not even guaranteed that when you develop a team in a certain years, they will start winning. It's not guaranteed. Development doesn't mean that in the near future, you win by force or by all means because you develop. So if you can do it now, do it. Don't say you are developing, which, which is not even a promise in the future for you to win. Because once you are developing, others, others already develop. Others already in the limelight. You are coming saying you are developing. Your competitors are already ahead of you. So a seaman move to Chelsea being off is shambolic. It's insane. It's insane because of way different. It's insane. So guys, let me hear from you. And this is the reason why Chelsea put a cement deal for now. Off for now. Maybe the transfer window haven't closed. Anything can still happen. Because a seaman want to come to Chelsea. Maybe a seaman and his agent can decide maybe to reduce the wage or Chelsea can go back to pay the wage and sign him. Guys, so, that is information for a semen deal again. And let's come to our former manager, Jose Moreno, got a new job at Fenerbahce, guys. In fact, and Jose Moreno, it is always best, guys. In his coaching career, he did not win trophy. All the teams that he went through, he won trophies there. And 2003, Chelsea did not win Premier League trophy. 50 years, when Abramovic bought it, he brought Jose Moreno, Jose Moreno, won as our first trophies and also united uh certain years united did not win a european competition yes he came i think 2017 he won united europa league jose Mo anywhere he go he set a course i think roma yes they never win any european trophy in their club history he went there and gave them european trophy so it is all space and for space there we all know even hurricane play his best football there, but he could not win anything there. So I want to talk of a manager. So Jose Moreno got a job at Fenerbahce, guys. And our, another manager, coach, yes, Antonio Conte also had a job at uh, that pulley or cement team. And this 
gave Chelsea fans the hope, or Chelsea journalists the hope that maybe since uh, Conte went to Napoli, his mind can change and he want to maybe renew his relationship with Lukaku. So Chelsea fans were expecting swap, swapping deal between Lukaku and Osibe. So that just add something in, in, in addition with Lukaku to get Osime. That was the hope. But now it seems they are saying the deal is off. But as I said, nothing is too late. The transfer window is still on. Even the transfer window haven't opened. After the summer or after the Euros, the transfer window was opened. So guys, that is the information. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video to go for. Take care, please.